Hello everybody and welcome back to Ant Holifer. Today we are once again taking a look at the latest Nitro experiment. So before we start the video I would just like to say that all queens and colonies are in hibernation today. So if you go down the comments and say why aren't your colonies in hibernation, they are. It's around two weeks ago I put them in hibernation, this is just a little bit pre-recorded. But this episode is a lot more serious than the other episodes. That is all I want to say right now. Let's just roll the intro. Colony 1A As you can see over at Colony 1A, we have a few workers, still the same amount of workers as in last episode. And in general, this is just a very normal Lacia Sniger colony. This is still the colony that we refer to if we have some different colonies, and it's just a normal Lacia Sniger queen. There isn't that much brood, it is quite hard to see since the queen is standing on top of the brood, but there are around, I don't know, 5 or 6 larvae. Colony 2A. So over at Colony 2A, we have our queen, our three workers, and over here we have a dead queen. So this is the first colony where we have lost a queen. As far as I can see, it may be natural reasons, or maybe they she has been killed. It is quite hard to see. She is just laying on her back like she has just died. She does look a little bit weird in the color, um, but I don't know if that's just that queen specific. So what else you can see? I have a little bit of workers and a little bit of brood. But all in all, I have still counted this colony out of the Lacious Nigeria experiment after episode 2 due to their moving where the whole colony was kind of reset. That can also be due... The queen may also have died due to stress from that particular episode. As far as I can see, it doesn't look like she has been murdered, at least. But yeah, colony 2A, the first colony where we have lost a queen, and now it's just a one queen colony. Colony 2B. So this right here is colony 2B, and as always, they are looking beautiful. A lot of workers, a lot of brood, just a perfect colony. Or it was a perfect colony, because before we had two queens and a lot of workers. And this morning, when I started recording them, I noticed for the first time that we have a dead queen. And this queen hasn't died of natural reasons. So, yeah guys, I don't know what to say. This queen has been decapitated and she has been killed. And that is sadly what many of you said was going to happen and I don't know why uh, it has happened here and you know this is what I'm doing this experiment for when I initially started this Elasius Nigeria experiment I wanted to check out if I know a lot of people have done it but I don't know how many because there isn't a clear Elasius Nigeria experiment on YouTube that is the main reason why I'm doing this to show that don't do it guys now we have lost two queens in one episode uh, so it's a very sad day for the episode. But as you can see, we do have quite a lot of brood. The number one queen is seemingly still very happy. As you can see, the setup is a little bit dirty, with a bit, little bit of mold on the left side. But I have relocated this colony into a new test tube right before hibernation. We now have a kind of brood boosted Lacious Niger colony. But hopefully, the colony won't be affected by the sudden murder of a queen and hopefully they'll just keep on producing and working brilliantly. Colony 3A. So colony 3A, we can immediately see two queens and on the bottom side of the screen it is kind of hard because the queen kept walking out. We have the third queen. So this is still a three queen colony and it is still just going great for this colony. They have a lot of brood and a lot of workers. It is very hard to see due to these clips being right before hibernation. I could see that a lot of the workers are just kind of scrambled together in a corner on the left side of the screen. So an exact number of how many workers we have is quite hard to say, but I'm guessing between these 20 to 30. But it's just very hard telling since they are all kind of scrambled together. 
Again, with all of the colonies, this colony has also been put into hibernation. I tried to relocate them into a clean test tube, but they didn't want to. They got around three days to move and they didn't want to. Of course, I exposed them to a bright LED light, but no heat because I didn't want to heat the colony up right before hibernation as I felt that that would be very weird. So right here we have the third queen. She is acting a little bit weird. I mean, they have been acting a little bit weird from the get-go, but this queen is trying to go out of the test tube and I don't know if that's a sign of the experiment getting to its harsh end. Maybe she wants, maybe she is on the backside compared to the two other queens. I don't know yet, but hopefully all three queens survive forever, hopefully. But you know, this is an experiment and maybe that queen right there is the next queen to go. I'm not, just not sure, to be honest. And finally, we have 3B. And as in every single episode we have had, there isn't anything special to say about this colony. They have a little bit of X and a little bit of larvae. I have decided to keep this colony in the experiment just because what's the matter that we count them out now before hibernation as to doing it after hibernation. It is pretty much the same thing. So this colony is still in the experiment, though I said in my last episode that this would be the last episode. But next episode might be the last episode. The eggs and larvae don't enter pupae stage, so I don't know why. After all the other colonies got their first workers, I did start to feed them as well, just because maybe they didn't have enough food or anything, but it hasn't made any difference. I feared that this day would come. I actually expected it to come a lot sooner than it actually did, but it has arrived, and this is the day where the Lacius Nature experiment shows itself for what it is really made of. And I did expect this to happen when I initially started the experiment, and as I also said around two minutes ago in the video, I did this mainly because when I initially searched Lacius Niger, what happens when you put multiple queens together, I just said they would kill each other. But I never really found the video showing that it was in the founding stages where the queens would kill each other, or the workers would kill the queens, or maybe they didn't kill each other at all. And I know there's a lot of people that have written, written in the comments that you can read it here and you can read it there, but I think I'm not alone when I say I don't read that much. I read when I get new species, of course, and I read into the species, but in general I don't go in and read what happens if you put two Lacious Niger Queens together, because I want to see a video of it. So hate me all what you want, uh, I know, I, I don't feel great with this happening, but I knew it was kind of coming. Uh, I mean, we still have a three queen colony. We'll have to wait to after hibernation to find out what happens to that colony. Maybe it survives, maybe it kills one queen, maybe it just survives, I don't know. But this is the brutally harsh part of this experiment that we were all kind of waiting to happen to see what would happen. The 2B queen was murdered. That was, was very clear, her head was chopped off. But I'm still not sure that the 1A queen was murdered. I, I don't know, I think she was just, I think she died for natural reasons, I don't know why, it just didn't look like she had been killed. Maybe you guys saw something different, I don't know, I just didn't, for me it just didn't look like she had been killed. This is the end of the video, so we won't see the Lacious Niger experiment before next year, in March or so, when the colony is getting out of hibernation. But until then, it is off from the Lacious Niger experiment, um, if you want to see the next episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now it will be a while, but you know, you can still hit that subscribe button and maybe that like button. I'm counting on some dislikes on this video. But yeah, let's end it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.